going to be in my soapy kitchen and we are going to be making a Mother's Day treat. So the Mother's Day treat I'm making today is my rose jam sugar scrub. And yeah, it's pretty good dupe. <laughs> the scent is fantastic. I got it from the Fragrance Buddy, so I totally, totally recommend you go down there and get you some if you're a soap maker like me. Um, I love Lush's Rose Jam, and this is perfect for my sugar scrub bars. Now, my sugar scrub bars are a little bit different than um, what you'll see in some other stores. I like it to be a big bar so that when you use it, you it, scrub it all over your body. It's just wonderful, and they last more than one one go so they'll last you a pretty good amount of time um I, mine let usually last me a couple of months but you know y if you leave it in the water it'll dissolve <laughs> so be careful with it um if you want it to last a long time just like you would with any butter bar of soap don't leave it in the water or it's gonna dissolve but the, that extra sugar that we add to it actually makes it even more foamy and wonderful and super duper fun. So come with me into my soapy kitchen while I show you how I make my Mother's Day sugar scrub. Right, everybody, we're going to work a little melt and pour magic today. I've got about 18 ounces of melt and pour soap here and this is an olive oil soap. And one thing that makes melt and pour a little easier to process or melt in the microwave is if you chop it up. So go ahead and chop up your soap easy peasy now what i'm going to make today are one of my favorite favorites so it's called a sugar scrub and some people like to make them like little sugar cubes which is super cute or they'll whip it up into a body whip so it's like a cream soap with sugar but i like nice chunky bars and so i like to be able to like rub it on my skin and not feel like i'm losing it so that's why I like a nice big bar. So the bars I've chosen are for Mother's Day. And we're, today I'm going to be making one with uh, a rose jam um, fragrance oil. It's comparable to Luscious Rose Jam. It is pretty darn close. It's from Fragrance Buddy. Um, very, very nice. Now I'm just going to chop this up. And you can use different kinds of sugars. I'm going to use white sugar in this first one. But you can use brown sugar. You can use um, anything that's got a little grit to it. I have some um, confectioner sugars that are made for crunchy uh, liege waffles. They're a little scratchy. So they're a little bit too much for it. But then I got these wonderful... Um, chunky raw sugar from um, India and I will be using a few of those so when I start mixing the sugars I'll make sure you get to see what that looks like and I can get it in a big bag here I'm really lucky we have people from all over the world that settle on this little island on the west coast and so the richness of the world is mine now this is a goat's milk base I am using, I wanted an opaque soap, but I didn't want to use up all my goat's milk. Um, so I'm just using a portion of clear and a portion of um, not clear, the opaque. And the opaque soap has milk in it, but it also has things like titanium dioxide. Now, if it's not the right kind of white that I want or the right kind of pastel, because we're going to be going for a pastel pink color. A little bit darker than pastel pink. I don't know. This is for a Mother's Day at the uh, the market and also for my shop. I'm not even sure the sugar scrubs are in the shop yet, but they're super fun and they last a long time as long as you keep them out of the water. They are just phenomenal. All right, so I'm gonna go melt this down and go grab the rest of my sugars and um, mix up my colorant and we will get started with this Melt and Pour Magic project. All right, so when it's almost all melted, not so piping hot that it's um, boiling, because it will boil over if you use your microwave. So make sure all the lumps are melted. 
and then we'll start putting in the different sugars. Now I've got some sugars here. This is from Europe. This is for making liege waffles. It's a little crunchier. That one I'll use as topping. We've got some German sugar here. Or at least it comes from a German company. We've got some uh, some uh, whey sugar. So this is very fine, but it comes from milk. And since I'm using the goat's milk soap, I thought it would be particularly nice. And we've got just some regular castor sugar. And then because you know it's Canada, we're gonna finish off with just a little bit of the maple sugar at the very, very end. It's very expensive, so yeah, no. And then I found this one at the grocery store. I was telling you that uh, we get products from all over the world. Well, this I believe is Chinese. Um, and it had the pretty rose on it, so um, we're going to put a little bit of that in there too. And if it gets too thick and it isn't nice and the sugars cool it down too much, then we will warm it up again before we pour. So I want to get my colors just right. Okay, so I need to zero that down. Check out the sugar, see what it's like. Before we put it in, oh, it's nice. It's got a lot of, um, it's very nice. I might have to use my very interesting sugar. All right. Got a very different dark scent. Mmm. flavor is very, very rich in molasses. All right, so that's going to add a lot to the bubble. So let's add our fragrance oil. So I'm going to use about two ounces. And now we're going to start adding our colorants. I'm using a red 40. And I'm using a gel based dye, a glycerin based dye. It's just easier and I don't get stuff all over the place. And every time I open up my little puffs, it goes everywhere. So we'll just get the right color. That looks nice. I may need to warm this up a little bit. The temperature is just right, so I might have a few little whites. And that really doesn't matter all that much because we're going to be adding all this sugar anyway. All right, so that smells fantastic. We're going to add zero again. Good. A pound of sugar, just regular sugar. Is it that? Just the whey sugar. Now you need to try to get all the lumps of sugar worked out. And it is going to thicken up. So you are going to need to warm it up anyway before you pour it. See what I mean? It cooled it down really well. So let me just go warm it up again and I'll be right back. Alrighty, so we're just going to pour is in a little bit wonky. Oops. Another one right here. bitty one for me. Ooh, I'm going to enjoy that one tonight. I 
absolutely adore sugar scrubs. Now you can make these with rebatch soap from the store. You don't have to use melt and pour. like that. So I'm just going to sprinkle a few of these on the bottom. It's decoration. Some other sugar scrubs. Like that. Alrighty. And that is a sugar scrub. I can bring it back. Oh, i got to finish them off with some maple sugar too. Never had the chance to try maple sugar. It's amazing. This one's made by a local company called Epicure Selections, which is where my name came from, Jen Spice. I used to sell spices when I wanted to be at home with my kids after I couldn't do soap anymore. But I'm back to this. Yay, yay, yay. All right, so I'll get, get, bring you back as soon as uh, I've done a little cleanup. And these are all cooled off. All right, so let's unmold these. And check out our sugar scrubs. So pretty. I'll just trim that off. And there we go. And there's the maple sugar and a little bit of crunchy sugar in the back. So you can tell that it's a sugar scrub because they're so pretty this way. It's really hard to tell. So I'm just going to stack these over here. Here's my bar. This is the one I get for me. So I always make the leftovers are mine. Or, you know, really good friends of mine. <laughs> or sisters of mine. These feel amazing in the shower, in the bath. They just, it feels like you're scrubbing your cellulite away. It may not work. It may not actually be doing that. But it sure as heck feels like it. It feels awesome. Just feels amazing. Are these pretty molds? Remember when I unmolded these? I got an unboxing for these. I love them. I might have to get some more. I don't know how long they're going to last, but they sure are super pretty, pretty, pretty. Check it, check it. Okay, a few more here. So if you're going to be at the ladies' night at Victoria Public Market, these will be there then. Um... And I will also be there in two weeks once again. So if you want to pick up some Mother's Day gifts from my um, my shop, you can go online to www.gentlesoaps.com or you can meet me at the Victoria Market Ladies Night and you can look at these things and decide if they're maybe something you want for you or for your mom or for somebody you love, like yourself even, because everybody should love themselves. And sugar scrubs are absolutely de bomb. They are so much fun to use. And uh, you can um, make them pretty like this, or you can pack them into the molds and make them look like sugar. Like if you let them get thick and then you pack them in, they actually look like big old sugar cubes. I did that with my um, heart shape mold. Um, but I think I like the smooth polish look better. And so that's how I'm going to make mine from now on. That was fun, but, uh, and the, the sugary looking ones, they really, really sold well. Um, but I just love shiny things. It's a shiny thing. It's a pretty, 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 pretty shiny shinies. Alrighty. So I'm going to make a few more floral sugar scrubs, um, to get ready for my next market and for my shop. And if you need anything, just holla. Hope you learned something if you are a soap maker. Um, this is really, really super fun. I like sugar scrubs because, um, well, one, I don't have problems with, you know, girly bits getting sugar on them. And two, salt hurts. If I have any little scratches or anything on me, I can't really use a salt scrub. I like salt in my, um, my cleansing conditioners, uh, but I don't really like it. On my in my bars so um, I will make some a few salt scrubs for people who do like them um, I'm just not a really big fan of them I prefer sugar 
I love sugar. So I'm going to finish these up by adding some sparkle, but I'm going to do it with alcohol and uh, mica. So these are going to get painted a little bit. Um, yeah, just like this. So you just take your brush and give them a little sparkle, sparkle, a little something, something. And this one is Brambleberries Gold. <laughs> I can't read it anymore, so these are all going to be done the same, just with a little shimmer. And then they'll be shrink wrapped, just like that. So pretty. So simple. But just a little extra some, some. This one's mine. So I'm going to make sure to get that up and out. And this only lasts the first time you use it. I'm going to put a little pink. Mine. A little bit of extra red sparkle. I don't think I'm going to do that to any of the other ones. It looks a little weird, honestly. Yeah, we'll just stick to the gold. <laughs> I'm going to rinse that off and try to start over again. Uh, let me just rinse off my... I don't want that coming over in. The rest of the design. I'll just go with this light gold and get everything a little shimmer shimmer it up it will pool in the crevices to make sure you move them out unless you want that to do that and this one is actually a mixture of aztec gold and whatever brambleberry light gold that is over there Oh, there's so many beautiful micas out there. Pick the ones you like. And I already got my base color, so that's why I'm just gilding. Literally just gilding the, the soap here. Gilding the lily a bit. It's gorgeous even without all this extra stuff. But I love to paint. Any of you else, all, any of you other guys, any of you, all, any of you out there paint too? I love painting. Watercolor is probably my favorite. My best friend, Leslie Redhead, is a world-renowned artist, and she taught me. I'm not very good at it, but I love to do it. I make a joyful noise with my, my, um, brushes. <laughs> Joyful splash of color. That one's going to pull a bit, but it kind of looks pretty, so I'm going to leave it. I'll let it pull. It didn't look pretty with the red pooling in it, but this, this is pretty. I like it. So I've just got alcohol and mica, and that's it. And I'm just gilding the top of each of these. A little extra something, something. I think it needs more. I'll give it a little more. Of course, you can do detail painting as well. I don't think there's a whole lot of point to that unless, you know, it's original artwork. This is just a pretty soap mold that I found on Amazon. They should wait forever to get them, though. No, eBay's the long one. Alibaba sometimes. Alibaba. AliExpress. 
Those can take a while. And one more, and then we're done. Just one more here. And I'm running out of paint. I'm running out of alcohol. I got lots of paint. And give it another spritz. That will just. That will just dissolve into the air and I can put back to my palette a little later. Should I desire? But the amount of alcohol you use determines how thick your um, your paint is, your mica. That's pretty. All right, so there we go. Everything's got a little shimmer. It's been put on there intentionally. And those are gonna make beautiful, beautiful gifts beautiful beautiful treats for yourself all right we'll see y'all next time bye for now